Hi guys and welcome back to Gallagher Abode. My name is Marta and I'm so happy you're here because I have a lot to show you. So I'm going to try a little bit of more long form content and that's kind of going to come in the form of a vlog. So this is my first ever vlog, but I will be doing a decorate with me section because I am going to tackle my formal living room, formal dining room. Um, my husband built in all these shelves for me and I have a bunch of decor to put in it. I just don't know what I want in it just yet. So you're going to be able to go on that journey with me. But as for right now, I got my makeup on. It is 1 p.m. It was a late start today. I'm not going to lie. But we're just taking some time around the house to kind of clean up, organize, do some maintenance on our fish tank. So coffee time. I'm going to grab myself a mug. Also, I don't, we have really hard water in the city that I live in, and literally anytime I wash glass, it has like a weird fog on it. We use this like blue, what is it called? This stuff? But it doesn't seem to do much. So I don't know if you guys have any tips and tricks on how to resolve that without needing to install like a full house, you know, hard water filter, but anyway. Oops, that is way too light. Wow, that's perfect, it was hot though. Anyway, so we have a few things on the agenda, but again, for the most part, I'd like to get some stuff done around the house. First things first, I have not eaten, so my sister actually taught me this microwave egg recipe, and it freaked me out until I made sure she didn't throw up after eating it. Um, but I'm gonna try it out here because it actually looked amazing and it's less dishes. Okay, for my breakfast, I have an onion, green bell pepper, it's kind of going, so it's a good time to use it, some mozzarella cheese on the side, and two eggs, and my sweet husband. <laughs> He's making me embarrassed. Anyway, moving on, chopping these up. I'm just gonna go in my little mug and bell pepper. That's what it looks like. Almost spilled. Almost. Gonna whip it up. Um, rustic style mozzarella cheese. Popping in the microwave. trying to sabotage this vlog so if you do not like this video it's his fault okay <laughs> it doesn't look the best but it smells really good so hopefully this works out my husband made this yesterday for himself and I had a little bite um it's actually pretty good and again sister tested it she didn't get sick so I doubt I will put some pepper on there it's gonna make work That's pretty good. I'll say 
you have to keep in mind the veggies won't exactly be cooked like if you were to make it on a skillet but for a quick speedy low mess breakfast so we as i mentioned we had a death in the family and my husband and I were unfortunately unable to attend it. It was um, in Canada and we're in the United States. So we had to just live stream it. Um, they were videoing it for people that were unable to attend. And I always had this like misconception, I guess, or I guess kind of a hope that the older you get, the easier it is to process the loss of like a father, a mother. And watching it happen um it it really doesn't get easier and that's like a little fear I have in myself that I'm you know it's I don't even know what I'm saying it's a life experience everyone has to go through it's a shared universal experience um no one on earth will get through their life without experiencing a death or a loss um and it doesn't get easier with age. I I'm sure it, it, you know, after the fact, yeah, like after years have passed, it's probably easier to stomach. But um, it just really puts things into perspective in terms of just, um, I don't know, like you never know what your day is going to look like. And to be honest, I was having a beautiful day and you never know what day someone else is going to have. You never know what kind of phone call you're going to get. So... It's just sad, but it's a part of life. Um, God is so good, and there are always sunny days ahead. And I'm wishing that part of our family sunny days ahead. Um, anyway, but in terms of us today... Um, we've been praying for them. We watched the whole service. It was beautiful. And, um, to know that, you know, the person that was lost was surrounded by loved ones and he was so loved. So a really great way to, you know, end a beautiful life and celebrate it. And as for us here, the show must go on. So I promised my husband we would go out and do some things. So we're going to change gears and do that. But I just wanted to... I guess be transparent in my thoughts. I don't really know if I said much, to be honest. Um, but yeah. Okay, switching gears back to this. So this was supposed to be my project for the day. It is to fully decorate this wonderful shelving unit that my husband did. Um, when we had purchased the house, this was actually um, two cabinets with like four cabinets on top or two extra cabinets on top, whatever. And it just was not the look I wanted. So I had him tear it out and install some shelves. So this is what we're looking at. We have um, like faux granite tiling here as the countertop. He painted it white and he also um, stained and sanded and installed these shelves so that they go from end to end. So I have collected a lot of decor over the past few months and I am going to start just kind of picking and choosing what I want to fill the space up and make it beautiful. Um, the first thing I want to start with, I actually saw this on a Laura Lee um, home tour and she had found these like sun bleached branches and she had put them in her shelving unit. So I have mentioned this product before. It is a either grape wood or just like a general driftwood decor piece that you could find at like home goods. Here's that beautiful piece. I love it. And honestly, I want to build around this piece because it looks so cool. So I mean, I guess I'm just going to start picking and choosing. This might be a time lapse. It might not be. I have no idea. Um, I'm very particular. So it's going to be kind of a hard one for me, but you're here for the ride, so.
two uh, photo frames. However, I don't have photos printed out just yet because I have trouble committing. <laughs> but let's see how these fit because I'm kind of running out of mini pieces of decor to use and I don't want to overdo it with the vases. So. Something to that effect, that'd be kind of cute. Oh, I love that. I hate this. Let's see. We either do a crystal there, or do we like the crystal more, or the marble chain loop? I'm kind of feeling the marble chain more. I don't love this here. I feel like the wood needs its own little moment. So I might just leave it as is. I was saving this specific piece for my coffee table, but as of right now, I'm kind of at a loss for what else to put. Um, so we'll try this out. And then worst case, I move it. I feel like that's too white that you could barely see what I'm putting down. But another thing we can do is move these down here, which actually might work better. So then doesn't clash white on white. There's some difference in color, so it doesn't just blend in. And then I pop this up here. Ooh, am I onto something here? I might be onto something. Okay. I do want color though. Hmm. I could technically trade these out, but then it'll be, I could technically trade those out, but then it'll be two vases next to each other, which I don't like. Oh my goodness, the options here. Okay. So far for sure, I love and love this whole section. Maybe I'll add these to this green vase, maybe just to give it a little bit more of a pop. I don't know if we can be able to see that from that high up on the shelf. And then one of these. Hmm. Can you even see that? I have no idea. Let me see. You can kind of see it. That makes sense. Okay, well, for the now, I love it. I actually think it looks super clean. Um, we used to have our Nespresso machine here. My husband didn't build the shelves. My husband didn't build the shelves high enough to, for it to be used. However, we don't really like our Nespresso anymore, so it's kind of gonna be on the donation pile for the next few weeks. Um, but in terms of cleanliness and decluttering, I think I made it work. So. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a close-up here in a second. Let me just grab you off my tripod. This is it, the final product. I think that looks super beautiful. For the top shelf, we have a cracked green vase with some of those um, like allium bunches from World Market and some crystal rods stacked. We have this almost clam resembling resin cast vase. And then we have the iconic um, potentially usable as a Kleenex box vase from Target, and then a little um, like wood jewelry box, decorative box right there. Moving on to the second one, we have this gorgeous piece of driftwood. You could find these at Home Goods. you could find these on the ground, you could find them at the beach, and you can actually find them at any aquatic supply store, so any kind of aquarium store, you will find stuff like this. Moving on, a vase from Home Goods and a little marble chain loop. And then we have two Magnolia table cookbooks stacked with that iconic candle and a marble arch. And then for the very final section, now this is the tricky one because this is the only one that is on a marble look rather than a wood shelf. So color clashing was kind of difficult to work around. Of course, I could always move stuff later, but moving on, we have our Queen Anne's lace, faux Queen Anne's lace in this beautiful home goods vase, or Hobby Lobby vase, excuse me. We got our little green moment. Green is my favorite color, so being able to find ways to incorporate it into my home is really fun. So we have our glass beads. 
a green linen book and then a like a kind of a bleached wood bowl. Then we have these really cute um, picture frames. So these are two different sizes. There's a four by six and a five by seven. Um, they are white, kind of beige. They have like a weaved appearance on them. Super homey, very cute. And that just about does it. So my next move is actually just gonna be filling this out for a few days, maybe some weeks, seeing if I'd like it. Honestly, I am obsessed right now. I think that looks super gorgeous and clean. And of course, I'm gonna need to find some photos for those frames. So backing up a little more, awesome. Let me know what you guys think. Can you shake? Good girl, it's nice to meet ya. Good girl. Okay, so we just got back from shopping. We went to a few aquarium stores for my husband and he was able to find some fish and some shrimp that he wanted. Those are acclimating in our tanks. Yes, tanks, multiple. But we got some ice cream and we just bought Super Mario Party Deluxe on the Nintendo Switch. So we're gonna spend the rest of our night playing that and just spending time together. This is our family. Stop! Stop! Stop. She's so stinky! 